Kim Woo Bin recently chatted about his new hit series Black Knight. Based on a wetuan, Black Knight takes place in 2071 when pollution has become so severe that people can't survive without respirators. The series tells the story that unfolds as legendary delivery man 5 to 8, Kim Woo Bin, meets refugee S.A. Wool, Kong Yu Sok, who dreams of becoming a delivery man because they are the refugee's only hope, and their struggle against Cheon Myong Group, an organization that is eager to rule the world with their vicious cruelty. Following its May 12th release, Black Knight has become a hit all around the world, quickly topping Netflix's global, non-English, top 10 chart. On what drew him to star in the drama, Kim Woo Bin shared, When I first received the script, I was happy to receive an offer from director Cho Yui Sok. That was first. At the time, since we were all living in a world where everyone was wearing masks, it was interesting because I thought this story could potentially happen in real life. While reading the script, I could feel each character coming to life and I was curious about 5 to 8. That's why I decided to join. Regarding the drama's message, Kim Woo Bin revealed, in my opinion, 5 to 8 is someone who is abandoned for the sole reason of being a refugee, feels hurt, and wants everyone to be happy. I also regularly think that although we cannot all live the same in the same situations, we're all people who were born to receive love and have a duty to be happy. I hope that after watching this drama, many people will once again feel that they are precious people who deserve to be happy and loved. I hope people live while loving more and being even happier. As the actor mentioned previously, Black Knight was filmed during the COVID-19 pandemic meaning all the cast and crew had to film while wearing masks. Kim Woo Bin explained, the prop masks had no function whatsoever. They were just for a show. We had to wear masks because of COVID-19 so we wore real masks inside our prop masks. On cold days, they'd fog up so if there was action or a long line, it got so stuffy to the point where water would drip from the mask. Rather than that being a distraction, I think it helped to understand how the characters felt. It helped a bit with immersing into the role. Alongside Kim Woo Bin, Black Knight stars Song Seung Hyun, Isam, Kong Yu Sok, and more. When asked about his chemistry with his CO stars, Kim Woo Bin shared, Song Hyun makes the atmosphere fun. I felt so comfortable on set. One thing that surprised me was that he looked so similar to the image I saw on TV when I was younger. I was curious about what on earth he eats. Every time we met up, I asked him, please tell me what you eat. I even asked how he exercises and we had a lot of personal conversations like that. Kim Woo Bin continued, I was meeting with Isam in a project for the first time in 12 to 13 years, so I was thankful and happy for that in itself. Although we didn't talk a ton, I figure that we felt the same. I even thought, she's been doing well, she's survived well. On Kong Yu Sok, Kim Woo Bin shared, as soon as I first saw Yu Sok, I thought he was S.A. Wool. I thought his casting was done well with regards to his unique energy, playfulness, ego, and acting. Unfortunately, we had a lot of sets so I couldn't keep filming with these three. Those aspects are regretful. It would have been great to spend more time with them. Since we were traveling across the country, we'd film in different regions. I mainly filmed with the Black Knight members. After taking a hiatus in 2017 following his diagnosis with nasopharyngeal cancer, Black Knight now marks Kim Woo Bin's third project since returning to acting. Given that he's worked consistently since his return, the interviewer asked how his health was. Kim Woo Bin answered, I'm sleeping well, eating well, and thinking positively. Being busy is something to be thankful for and means that there are a